I think I've come to an understanding as to why a person can be a professed Christian and still unaware and still not seeing the whole picture but only part of it. And the reason why they don't see the whole picture is because they're still of the world. They still have at least one foot, probably a whole leg, still in the world. And they speak. This is the most important thing. And you must discern it. They speak the language of the world. That's right. They talk money. They talk rock and roll. They talk materialism. They talk about anything that is of man, not of God. They still are trusting in some way in the ways of man, in man's systems, man's government, man's structures, you name it, from the military to the schools to even the churches. We have to be totally separated now. And I think this is what my urgency was about today. I feel I'm not sure exactly what he's preparing us for, our Lord, but he's not playing around. He's not playing around. He wants us ready to go. That's right. He wants us ready to go. Do you know what I'm saying? And if we've got something that we're holding on to in this world, he may not want to use us. I want to be used. I want to be ready to go. So I don't listen to the language of the world. I don't look listen to all this money talk about stock markets and this crashing and that crashing and losing my money. It's worldly talk. I'm not talking about the basic stuff that we need to exchange to get some food to eat or a roof over our head. I'm talking about wrapped up in it. I discern very strongly, stay away from the metal music, the rock music. Even if they call it Christian, get away from it. I discern very strongly that this is not pleasing that this is still of the world. It's tainted by the world. So we really cannot have anything tainted by the world in our lives. Extreme attachment to family still. Extreme attachment to the comforts of this world. Extreme attachment to cars, to things, to anything. I just, I had to make this video. I was a little reluctant to make it because it explains to me why many Christians aren't getting it, are still not getting spiritually attacked either. They're not getting spiritually attacked either because they don't have that treasure inside. But I think it's getting close. And we have to be ready to go wherever he wants us to go to serve him in any capacity he wants us to serve him. And I don't think if we're still wrapped up in the world and we're not ready to just literally walk out the door with the shirts on our back, if that, you may not want to use us. And that does scare me. So detach, detach, detach. And don't trust those people speaking of worldly things. Not now.